Come out of the box. Out of the box. Out of the box. So niggas is getting laid off already. I'm just trying to make a living. Man. Well, if everybody has to stay in the house, I can't see how businesses could operate. It's, it can't be very the one, Yeah, but the one thing, point. this is all I'm saying. Like Why you do you need more toilet paper? You, I, you can't tell everybody stay in the house. <laughs> and then, you know, the jobs are like, well, I tell you, if everybody stay in the house, that means nobody's coming out spending. So the whole thing about it is like, you know... Well, well, Trump just gave them... Trump just signed a bill to give nah, the, the I mean, jobs yeah, more money. Pay out to the wrong people. to the people But not to the people who's at home. Who already got it, yeah. You, you're giving payouts to the... To the people who people. already have it. See, you're just passing envelopes around with your friends. That, there you go. That's what's up. You could expect for the economy to crash. And, uh, it's already crashing. I think there's... Uh, Going to that state where we was a few years ago in recession and uh, head on to that Great Depression stage, <laughs> you could expect. It's on the way. Because it's not set up like this. It's not designed for this here. Stay in your house and the kids is at school. But you know what's funny? Or oh, isn't at school, excuse me. You know what's funny? What's funny? President Obama had. Nah, he, no, wait a minute. Nah, Pre- he already. You know what I'm saying? Like, President Obama yeah, had uh, a task force called, what was it? Uh, viral and, and nah, don't worry. At pandemic. Barack, we already know. He had a. He had a. He had. We already know what happened. He, he had an actual bureau yeah. for, for pandemics like this. You wanted to. To race. stop them before they got here. And, and dispose and, of everything that Obama had going on. You and thought that was a good and idea. And your boy just got rid of it for no reason. And you thought that was the way to go to... Just so happened you was unlucky enough to find the world's first pandemic since the goddamn Black Plague. <laughs> you, you, you chose to systemically... And everything you do is wrong. Eradicate everything that Barack had going. And, um, you know, now he's sitting back watching the pandemic... Just wondering if maybe his health care, his health care plan maybe would have worked and uh, <laughs> <if> implemented <laughs> properly. <laughs> He's probably sitting back with his milkshake. And, oh uh, my god! Just probably wondering, like, if you would have. Everything you do is wrong, bro. Listen to what I was talking about. It was for something like this. And, uh, the dude. Had an agency in place just in case pandemics came out, just in case there was a a, a a virus or something that we need to respond to. And the first thing you do with your orange self is go in there and say, "Well, we don't need that. Get rid of it." Along with the healthcare that he had going, you know, everything you do is wrong. How? Well, I just want to say one thing. Like, how can you, know, you live like that, bro? The thing about it is that I don't know how you guys have viewed the four years and the term that. Oh, hey, what's up, people? Didn't know you was there. He's taking an office, but uh. Welcome to the basement. Are you guys seriously talking about reelecting him? Oh, he's gonna get reelected. Nah, I'm. Oh yeah. yeah. Nah, oh yeah. Nah. Y'all put Biden in. You didn't want Sanders. You put Biden in, everybody, all the progressives are going to stay home because they're not excited and they have, and they're sick. You see? And they're not going to care. people uh i'm gonna try to rein in the show here obviously 
everybody's stuck at home. Uh, in the state where we live, they've canceled uh, all school, right, for the next four weeks. So I know a lot of parents are going through it, and a lot of you guys are probably going through it. Uh, a lot of people under quarantine. We're supposed to be social distancing. Um, hopefully you don't have it. But if you do, just hit the Purell. We're, we got hand sanitizer on deck. So we decided that we're just gonna go off the cup. We're, times are different, so we're gonna do a different show. That's what we're doing. We're live, we're hitting you with, with exactly how we feel and what we feel. This is actually how we talk on a daily. Sometimes we get a show ready for you, like, yo, we, we're gonna talk about the, the battles today or what happened in the news of hip hop, you know, check 107. Uh, but on a daily basis, like we're actually, we're actually friends and this is exactly how we talk. And now that we're stuck in the house, we think you might want to have a conversation like this as well. How you feeling out there, people? How you feeling out there? It's tough. And it's just started. You're not going to be able to go anywhere for at least four weeks. Uh, some say to longest. Stuck at home to longest sounds harsh. We're going to do the best we can to provide you with, with quality entertainment, with discussions, with hip hop and the world around it. This is this is what we've always said in the beginning of our show. We provide you with the best in hip hop and the world around it. And right now, the world around it seems to be taking precedent. How you feeling out there, people? Well, like I can't touch my face if if if, if I touch anything like this. Again, you know, I'm not sure what I'm with, walking around with Clorox wipes with, with, with everywhere I go. <laughs> What direction is and 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 you look for some type of uh you know message or, or, or comfort from your president and, and and the powers that be and all they tell you really is to wash your hands and gather up your toilet tissue. Now nobody ever said anything about toilet tissue. Why are you guys putting a run on toilet tissue? That wasn't part of the mandate. So I, it was not, never part of the. I'm not sure. Why are you running what, what, up the toilet tissue aisles? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really sure what's going You've on. You've never used an entire box of 24 toilet papers ever. Now you brought th five of them. How long do you think you're going to be staying in the house, people? Even if you did for months, you're never going to use that toilet paper. This was an excuse for people to act crazy. This is what happens, man. This is what happens. My wife went to Walmart. She saw somebody put 10 gallons of milk in their cart. Get another cart and continue shopping. But that's gonna spoil you. I can tell you that, man. You're not gonna use it. <laughs> I can tell you, unless you have a family of 15 or something like that. You have 15 children running around here eating cereal every other minute. I mean, even in 10 gallons? You better probably be spoiled before you get to use it. And the thing about it, where are you gonna keep it? The other three or four families that's come in now, now don't have any milk. Now that you, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing out here, people? <laughs> Calm down, man. Like that's probably a little extreme and unnecessary, but and you know, I, I, I get it because we we've never in my lifetime I've never actually experienced or been through anything like this so I would have I would expect that people in my age are probably younger are probably just trying to prepare themselves in, in the best way possible and in, in, in which they know how and yeah but 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 you also have to be intelligent you have to, you have to be smart enough to realize that all of the milks expire around the same date so unless you're drinking milk back to back back to back, to back, to back. Five of them joints gonna be spoiled before you get to it. Now, I'm a strong milk drinker myself, which is why I happen to know, like, like I said, depending on the size of your family, you could go through a gallon, two gallons with ease within, you know, a few days or so, but 10, really? you know, now, you know, you're talking about 
Nobody's drinking Kool Aid. Nobody's down in any water. You exclusively <laughs> drinking drinking milk, drinking milk and cookies, milk with your with your sandwich, milk for dinner. I didn't even get my glasses. We but, just started um, talking. I man, calm down, people. We gonna get through this. We get through it together. Uh, anything in hip hop going on? Um. We definitely want to get back to you guys as far as the battles. I think there's been some battles that have been uh, taking place. You saw the doubles? We've been so... Charlie Clips? Wrapped up in... Uh, life. This, uh, yeah. Yeah. Real life. It's real life uh, situation going on that I, I've uh, negated to uh, really tap in and see exactly what I've missed as far as the battle. Now, um... Music wise, Kiss just dropped a new one. Damn! Which I found to be very nice. Very really? Good. Yes, yes, yes. It's very grown. It's very. Uh, it's still, just dropped? I thought he just dropped one last year. It, it's still Kiss. It's, you know, you, you get your same old kiss, but it's a more grown and sophisticated Jada kiss, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed Maybe it. Maybe that was wrong. I think it's called Ignitus or something like that. But, um, yeah, and he actually held it back for, for a little while after the whole situation with Pop Smoke transpired, and he wanted to be respectful, and then we were going through the Kobe Bryant thing, which he has a song and dedication about. But, um, yeah, check the kiss out if you guys are sleeping or having a... Uh, and checking in with, with with your latest music. We'll see what we can get away with on here. I'm gonna try to play a little something from you from the from, from the new Jada, so that you're not you're not sleeping too long. Wake up, people! Kiss. We got it for you. What's this? Is this for the, Kiss? The Kiss is feature and push your T. Kiss is fire. Um, yeah, it's fire, man. Jada's back to back back to his one two. <laughs> That's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. We don't want to get flagged or nothing. Yeah, we trying, we trying to... <laughs> that new kiss is it. Woo. As you can see, it's fire, though. Wow. You know. Well, that's funny. That is funny. Uh, You know your boy... You got anything new? I, I did. I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to remember what I really, really, really enjoyed. Gotti, new joint too. Gotti has a new joint out. I think people are, uh, might be sleeping on that. I found to be very dope, very dope on uh, Gotti's. You know what I did like? What's that? I think I showed it to you. Yo, Gotti, that is people. <laughs> you know, There's a lot of Gotti's out there. You know what I did like? Surprisingly. Uh, I showed it to you. Your boy T.I.'s son. Mmm. You did put me up on something. Actually making good music uh, and I, not just... I found that to be refreshing with many different... Uh, living off the laurels of his dad. Who knew? I mean, I mean, actually good... There's always that... Uh, fire, <laughs> if I could say music. stigma about... Famous, famous rappers, kids. Yeah. There's always that stigma that they probably won't make it or make it at least to be as big or nearly as big as their parents. Their, their, their artistry won't be taken too seriously because what are you going to rap about? You already got it. Right. But, <laughs> so that's particular circumstance. I didn't mean to cut you off. In this particular uh Situation and we're talking about um, what's Tip's son name? I, I got it right here. Let's pull. I just got this. Damani, right sure. Damani, Damani, Damani. Yeah, Damani. Yep. You know, I'm a hip hop. It's all up here, people. Yeah, my my brain is fried right now, man. The body, young the body is doing this thing right now. Salute, shout out. Oh, uh, I found it to be refreshing because one thing that I see that he's practiced on is being him. And a lot of times, because of the pressure, because of the the, the 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 large, you know, how how 
you know, prestige or whatever, wherever their parents has taken it to. And in this case, T.I. being one of the best rappers of all time. Period. Um, those all, are all of you who hate when, hate when we say that, just prove us differently. That's all you got to do. Those, um, those are large shoes to fill. He decided a lot of times, not to fill them. You could see where the pressure he got his own shoes. overtakes who they are themselves as individuals because of trying to excuse me because of trying to fill their parents shoes in this so particular case, case he's not running from it nor is he trying to fill those shoes and I find that to be a lane that he's carved that allows him to just make music that he feels and that 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 he that represents himself as an individual, and uh, it's very refreshing. Like I said, it, it comes across in the music. Would you like something uh, from the from the whiskey bar? Sure, sir? man. Pour me up something, man. Coronavirus uh, absent, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I just find that to be very refreshing. And when I say that, meaning you know, Tip or Ti made a living from obviously. Trap music. I mean, he coined the phrase himself. Uh, he has created a whole new subgenre, and so that's not Damani's lane. Although he's not oblivious to that life or or or, or what it entails, or or you know, just street life. Period. He he's not you know he's not a kid. You know, he was afforded wealth and riches beyond you know us and uh, the average person, but. He does go outside, I guess, in lack of better terms. He does, you know, experience the world as it is. And so that stuff goes on outside, and he's not oblivious to it. Pussy has a father that's T.I. that's made a living from it. So I just, but he doesn't put it in his rap like that's what he aspires to be, or, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's refreshing to see. Um, like I said, Concept, right. conceptually right, wise, I'm not sure if I said that right, but yeah, concept, concepts, and, and conceptually, I think I did yeah, say it right. But uh, I was just curious to see how he would go about things, and uh, it seems to be right on course, right on, right on par. As to my expectations, you know, again, I wouldn't look for him to rap about the trap and the, the guns and, and shootouts and bankhead. Like I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't look to him for that. And well, like, uh, that's not what you hear from his music. What I was saying was, all you have to do is be true to yourself. Be honest and be real. Because when you do that, you're going to have a story that nobody else has. No matter, It doesn't have to be about the guns. But whatever it is, it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be something that nobody else already knows. So you don't have to try. Fact. If you're honest and you're with yourself and your music. And at the end of the and day. your story is only yours. It's good music. As and I was, it's good. As I was saying, we, we came we came to love about T.I. At the end of the day, he out raps 90, 95% of the rappers, but it's also put on good production. As I, you know, I sit here with a, 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 a great producer in his own right. Appreciate um, that. You know, it, it, it's, it's put on top of good music. And when you have that, that's, you know, the, the tools all the tools that's needed for you to, to be successful at music period so um, yeah I, I got two people for you man I got two people for you big big shouts out to the money but uh, I got two people for you number one D Smoke dude who won that the TV show I don't know if you heard of him no I'm... oh man so he's he's blowing up right now there's like a rap competition that they got um uh, you guys know the name of it i i don't really watch stuff like that but everybody else been watching it somebody at my at my job where, where, I, where i teach at told me yo you gotta look out for d smoke i went ahead and looked him up the dude is dead nice i mean just hands down dead nice i i i'm very weary when i see people win rap competitions on tv just because the experience that I've had from that has never really been good. It's always been a little bit of fakery or, or something. It's too pop for me. The dude is nice. But it's 
so you guys talk about it. If you guys know who D Smoke is, we about to uh, get into him in just one second. But there's somebody who's more important. New dude from Houston. Toby Nwigwe. Never heard of him. Oh, what? You're going to thank me for this, D-Boy. You're going to thank me for this, D-Boy. Let me show you something. We might have to cut this out if they find out that, that if we have to get flagged, I'm cutting it out. But for your sake, I'm going to let you hear it. Andre. Right, I hear Andre in there. There's UGK in there. Mm. There's UGK in there. Man. Where is he from? Houston. Mm, okay. Okay. Now, what I like about this dude is, if you watch every one of these videos that he has, this is his formula. Five, six black ladies in the background doing ballet. His wife is the one that does all of the, the choreography. And he raps about everything it's not just love and, and 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 peace all the time either because he lives in a world that same world that we live in with the coronavirus and trump and all of that so you can't just talk about that all the time but his message is always something that you can that you can get a nugget from learn something from he reminds you of the greats with his poetry and his style. If you don't know Toby Nwigwe, you may want to check him out. You may want to check him out. Um. Okay. Yeah. I, I wanted to see if I could find one where he's talking about something different. Yeah, we, we, we try not to get popped. I'm not going to listen to the whole thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's what I've been on, man. That's what I've been on lately, man. Trying to change up the style. Um, and it isn't that the yin and the yang. Yep. I'm on the Jada and Yo Gotti, which is so funny and ironic because 20, 20 years ago, they were the underground. Yeah. They were the ones that you, did, you didn't hear. You had to go to a, 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 a Locks mixtape or a Yo Gotti mixtape because they wasn't compromising with, with the industry. And um, now you, you listening to the younger under underclassmen or if you will, underground or whatever have you. And um, the internet has become the great equalizer. Yeah, it's 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 even the playing field. Yeah, a lot of love. It. Yeah, it's definitely even the playing fields, man. Uh, listen up, people. I like that. I like that. We 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 we. I think we should end it there. I think we should end it there. We we hit you with some new stuff. Jada got a new one. Toby Nwigwe. If you don't know who he is, just look him up on YouTube. Listen to a couple songs. Listen to your boy Damani. D Smoke for sure. I thought it was a gimmick. I thought it was just. I really don't like his name. It sounds corny. Uh, but the dude can rap. I don't know what to say. I, 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 I feel like uh, I'm not being bamboozled when I listen to it. And that's usually how I feel with these TV rappers. So I'll, I'll leave it there. And we'll just say this to finish it off. We're all stuck in the house. So we're going to try our hardest to provide you with honest entertainment, discussion, something fun, uh, and sometimes serious, right? But we're here for you, man. The basement. I just want to say I appreciate all the fans, everybody who subscribes, first-time fans and you and you guys that's been checking for us that maybe haven't caught the show in a while I'm not sure you know youtube getting us right out there 
But uh, yeah, it's love from 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 us to y'all all the time. Every time. Um, the basement. We got we got we got shows on deck too. We'll get back to hip hop and everything else that's going on in it, and and get back to our debates and and the usual things that we do. But um, yeah, we we had to touch on a few more things. So, uh, right down there, tell us if you like the new format. If you like the more freestyle format instead of the intro like we usually do, we're gonna get back to that anyway. But I just like your feedback on on uh, during this time that that we're here. Tell us what you think about the new format. If you like it better, or if you think it's it's uh, confusing for you, just let us know. Whatever you feel, man. With that being said, basement. Basement. It's all I expected. I want it all from the reflection to the reflection. It's all I expected.